Hey guys, it's Jazz and Joe from Abundant Culture, and we wanted to let you guys know how our meeting just went with the seller. Um, we are in the process of buying another company, and we met with the seller 7.30 a.m., not my usual time. I actually wake up at like 9 a.m., so that was super early, but it was worth it. I have to say it was 100% worth it. Uh, we didn't... Uh, write up an offer today just because our process um, we like to get a couple of touches in before we submit an offer because we also need to know all of our answers and then some um, so we got a lot of questions answered today uh, we really didn't even have to ask him he told us like he basically just went through all of our questions with all the stories that he told us which was pretty cool um, anything else you wanted to add um, oh, I, I just wanted to say that I think bringing coffee and donuts work like a charm, honestly, uh, because a lot of times when you're talking to a seller for about buying a business and there's a broker involved, a lot of times uh, the broker doesn't want you to have the seller's direct information. Um, and we were gonna eventually still ask him for you know his cell number so we could reach out to him personally But we didn't even have to ask because he just gave that up uh, yeah. Without us having to ask for it. So we feel like uh, we created that bond that relationship uh, fairly easily by um, Bringing coffee and donuts and one trick for you know anybody out there who's looking to buy a business one thing my uh, mentor Ed Kills taught me is that if you want to really uh, have the seller bring their guard down, you tell them, I think this place is great. I don't think we'll have an issue writing up a full price off or something. And if you say that, they're like, oh, okay. Like, hey, this guy's serious. Right. And, and not only that, like, after I said that, which I said it a little bit later than I was supposed to, but after I said it, he gave me even more information without me asking. Like, uh, he shook our hand, like, two or three times before we actually left exactly so um it's a lot of little psychological tricks that go into uh convincing a seller to for them to sell you their company yeah um and we're learning a lot of those now so it's looking pretty good so keep your fingers crossed yes we'll keep you guys updated and if we buy the business then we can let you know the specific details Absolutely. because they're juicy so thanks for watching and stay tuned